Hey guys, Zach here, and this is NHL 13, how to make EA pucks in Hockey Ultimate Team. So let's get started. Alright, and if you enjoyed this video, let me know if you want me to do a how to make uh, coins or pucks or whatever they are in FIFA 13 and Madden 13. If you guys want it, I will do that as well. Alright, so there are a few methods I'm going to show you. The first is called the bronze pack method. So what you want to do is go to store. You just want to buy a bronze pack. Say, Ely Kovalchuk. Open it up. Alright. See what we get. Alright. So, see. What you want to do is, you want to hit advance. Alright. So these cards here. Alright. The training, the, you can either do two things. But I'm not going to get to the training. So, this is a six game contract. So, this, those, any contracts that are less than double digits, you want to sell for 150, 150 bid, 200 buy now. Alright, in the training, you want to put 50 bid and 100 by now. If you don't want to try to sell the training, um, you don't have to, you just quick sell them. But it, I have noticed that it's easier to sell training ever since Duration came out. If you want to go to Trade Pile, alright, sweet, David Booth sold. Alright. Ah, wow. Alright, so this is 6, you want to put 150, 200, 1 hour, so it'll go towards the front. You don't really want to put contracts in for. Like a day, I just put them in for an hour. 150, 200, put it in. 150, 200, put it in. And 150, 200, put it in. And now these you put in for 50 and 100. They're just training. Now, if all four contracts sell for 150, that's 600. That's the price you paid. Plus, if any of them sell for 200, then if all of them sell for 200, then you get that's 800 right there. Plus, say each training sells 50 then that's 900 max or the maximum you can make out of this if the, with the pack I just got is probably around 1000 you paid 600 that's a profit of 400 this is a very simple method if you want to if your knowledge of the market isn't that great so I'm gonna open one more let's go with Giroud alright so if you open it up so this is a better example so again we get two training now the 12 and 10 gamers um, you can put you can try putting a 250 bid 300 buy now or you can play on the safe side and put it to 200 bid and 250 buy now so they'll automatically assure you of 200 and then 250 buy now it depends which if you want to go through the hassle of relisting them again all right so right now I'm just going back to trade pile all right so I'm just gonna put this one in for say 250 and 300. The 10 gamers I would recommend putting them at 200 and 250. Anything that's not double digits I would just put it uh, 150 and 200. Yep, 150, 200 for an hour. In the training, if you, these don't sell, you can always discard them for 20 pucks. All right, so that's the, f the that's done with the first method. The second method you can do uh, is called the rookie method. That's what I like to call it. What you do is you get like, say if you have like the season ticket or people that you got from your starter pack, you just play the rookie cup over and over again. Um, it won't get you better the game, but if you're, it won't get you better the game. So that's my why you might not want to do it. You can just do that and then try to get pucks that way. I don't do that method too often though. I find there's quicker methods. All right, another ones you can. The other one I'm gonna show you is actually wait, going back to the rookie one. Like you get like 600 per game, then tournament bonus, which is like 500 or something like that. You can always do that, or you can play a game on Superstar and play like a national, a crappy national team. And if you beat them, you get around eight to nine hundred pucks. Plus, it'll make you better at the game. So that's a very good method. That's one that I use. And the last one is called the 83 method. I'm gonna go search for item in your league NHL. You want the maximum price to be 200, and we're gonna search. Alright, I'm gonna find a good example here. Uh, aha. Alright, so this is. Alright, so we have Theodore here, alright? Jose Theodore. He's 84 overall. So what you wanna do is bid 200. And we keep going. And say the 83 overall player. See how he's listed for 200? Which one? The reason it's called an 83 player is this, anyone who's 83 overall, you wanna bid 200 or less. And you'll easily be able to sell him for 300 to 300 to 400. Pucks, depending, and also depending on if he has a good name. He, Mitchell right here, bid 200, easily sell him for 300 to 400. 
Gordon, 200. It's a lot harder to sell people who no one knows who they are. But it's just the 83 method. So we're just looking through here. Jovanovski, at 200, boom. You just keep doing, looking for players with 83 overall. Just keep looking, keep looking. All right, see 83. Just check, make sure training and the contracts are on. Bid 150. There you go. All right, that's a method that you can use, or you could always use the old-fashioned buy, buy low, sell high. Where, I'll give you an example. Say we do uh, Boston goalies, like Tim Thomas or anything. What you want to do? Put some minimum price of say thousand, maximum price and uh, say two thousand five hundred. This is an example. And you go through here. Say there's Marty Turcos or Tuka Rats. He's probably the lowest rated Tuka Rats. You can lower the uh, minimum price just to be sure, and you just bid on the lowest one there is. All right, that's another way of doing stuff, old fashioned. Buy low, sell high. Another way to make pucks is, I repeat this, never, ever buy packs. Unless they're bronze pack, with the bronze pack method. Never, ever buy these packs. No, they're terrible. Garbage. See, 50, you, you get ripped off. I, I would open it and prove it to you guys, but I don't want to waste my 17k pucks I have right now. So, never, ever, ever buy packs. Just don't, don't even bother. It's a waste. Unless you're doing the bronze pack method. Other than that, don't even buy it. Alright. That's all for this episode of how to make EA Pucks and Hockey Ultimate Team. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below and like the video if you want me to make this for FIFA 13 and Madden 13 Ultimate Team. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.